Hello, and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a lamp socket. Uh, this one here that I'm going to be working on is one of my new projects here. It's a simple project. I'm going to show you how easy you can do this yourself. Uh, this here is a three-way uh, type lamp. Now you can take a normal table top lamp such as this here which has the uh, switch here to turn it on and off. Now you can change a single socket into a three-way socket. What that means is it is a it, you can turn it off, you can turn the light on low, you can turn the light on medium, and you can turn the light on high, on the brightest setting. And what this in here has done is it's gone bad. It's only got one of the settings that actually works, which is on the low side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and replace it. I'm going to show you how simple you can do this. Um, as you can see, this is just a big table. And I'm going to show you what you can do here. Now, let me go ahead and get this set up on a table so we can begin. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is I'm going to remove the bulb here. Now, you want to make sure everything is unplugged, which this one here is. You don't want any of it plugged in while you're working on these. Now, as you can see here, these three-way bulbs, as you can see, looks a little different. You have the outer ring, which is the neutral. Uh, you have the the center or the middle ring here that you see. Uh, this is one of the three-way settings. Then you have that center dot. Now the center dot is usually on normal bulbs, but these are what the uh, three-way bulbs look like. The next thing you want to do is remove these little pieces. They're locks, as you can see here. And move these out of the way. Now you can just break just a little bit squeeze there. And you can remove these. Now this is just a bracket for your shade. And right now we don't need it. You can just move out of the way. Now here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little nut that sits just below the base. Now you want to get, most of these are like a 7 or a uh, 1 half inch uh, socket or uh, wrench. And you want to gently, if you can reach down in there, and you want to hold it in place because these here the sockets will screw off of the rod that runs all the way down through the piece down here because if you look at the bottom there is a bolt that's on the other end that holds all the the lamp together now you want to go ahead and keep the wrench in place because you want to be able to screw off the socket. Now one of the other things you want to do, if you can't get it past the, the sides here, just take the uh, switch, uh, hand switch off. It just simply unscrews. Just like that. If you can turn it, keep turning it to the right, it locks and then you can screw off the thumb piece. Now you should be able to easily, it may take a little effort, because you don't want this bolt to loosen up. This is what keeps your lamp together. Now it's going to swing back, you know, if you turn it, that's because of the wire that's inside. And you want to make sure that the other end has plenty of room to where the wire can freely move through. That way you can pull the cord through. Now, 
now you should have a better view now. You see this little thread? It's a rod that goes all the way through your lamp. And your lamp is, you know, one, three, maybe four pieces like this one is. And you got a bolt, a nut on each end. And it allows everything to be kept in place. Uh, so you want to make sure you keep that nut tight. This one here and the one on the, on the bottom side. Now, once you have this cleared out, now we're going to have to take the socket apart. Now, as you can see here, uh, it looks like it's in fairly good shape, but you'll notice it's got the cardboard around it. And I'm going to show you what this cardboard's for. Now, next thing you want to do is you might be able to twist these off. It's got a little cup that sits around it. As you can see, it's got the indentation. You may need to get a small flat screwdriver. There. Now we can take that off. Because you can see here uh, where my finger's pointing, they got the little indentations that will uh, allow to grab a hold of these pieces and put them in place. Now let me go ahead. If you look underneath here, now you can see where the wires are attached. There's little screws on each side. It's just like a normal uh, lamp socket, but these are just a little bit different. These here, as you can see, you can see the cardboard uh, insulation in between the socket because of the screws and the outer metal piece. These are insulated. Now, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and remove. As you see here, now when you take these apart, you're going to notice you have a silver one and you have a gold copper looking one. This is normal. This is identify which one's a neutral, which one's the hot wire or the line. So, you need to make sure that you keep an eye as to which one's which. I'm going to also show you here in a moment how to tell which wire is which. Now, let me go ahead, take these out, and there you go. Now, I have the old one here apart. Now here is my new one. As you can see, it looks just practically just like it. It is going to give you a rating on the sides of these. Uh, you don't want to go over it, the ratings. Uh, most of these are like 250 volt, 250 watt uh, sockets. Uh, when you buy these, make sure you do not overload these sockets. It's a hazard, a fire hazard and a electrical hazard. So be sure not to uh, exceed these limitations. Now before I get started with that, what I'm going to do is remove the base here. Now one way to know if you have a wire here and you're not sure you know, which one's which, if it's a hot or a neutral, uh, what I'm going to show you, if you look closely, you, you can fill these wires. If you look closely, you'll notice that one side is really smooth. Really, really smooth. And you'll notice the other side has ridges on it. If you got the smooth side here, that is your hot wire or the line. That's where the voltage is coming in to your lamp. The rough side is where the voltage goes um, away from your lamp. Um, for instance, here, this is a good show here, the inside, as you can see here, looks a little copperish. This outside here is the neutral. That's where this rough side will connect, the ridge. That connects to this outer piece, which is labeled or marked by this center piece, or this uh, silver-looking screw here. The smooth side on this here will go to the copper look inside. Some of it uh, looks gold, brass, uh, but it's copper, and that it's, uh, powers the center pieces. Now, the first thing you want to do here is you want to go ahead. Some of these will have a little screw on a base, and that allows you to lock the 
the socket base into a place in a single spot. It tightens it down. Uh, what you want to do, we'll worry about that later. We will go ahead and run the wires back through. You want to put your base back on. And this side here is a piece that goes that's going to screw back into the base or to the stud. And here you have the screw here that you could use to tighten it down. Don't tighten it too tight because it will damage the threads on the stud. So we'll just leave that in the in the place. Let me go ahead and get my new socket. Now my new socket here, as you can see, uh, it's got the silver. That's for the neutral. This is for the hot. What you want to do is on the cord, remember what I said, the rough ridges, that is the neutral side. The smooth side is the hot side. That's the line. That's the hot live voltage. So what we're going to do here is first, I'm going to take the rough side, which is this wire here, and I am going to connect it. like so. Now here you want a hook. You want the hook to bend clockwise around the screw. This way when you tighten the screw up you gotta turn it to the right. It's clockwise. Uh, the old rule of thumb is righty tighty lefty loosey. Now what you do is once you have it wrapped around the, school, the screw in the hook go ahead and take your Phillips screwdriver or your flat screwdriver, doesn't matter depending on the screw head and then you can tighten it down now while you're tightening it be careful not tighten it too tight but you want it tight enough to where the wire does not slip as you see here I can tighten it you just want it hand tight like so now I'm ready to do the live side which is over here. Now again, the smooth side, that's your live wire. That goes over here. You may have to loosen the screw. Careful not to loosen too much of it because the screw may fall out. Again, you want to take the wire, wrap it around the screw, like so. And again, you want to twist it and wrap it right around the screw here, as you see here. Once you get that done, you can take your Phillips or your flat, depending on the head. You turn it to the right, and it's going to lock it into place. Now you just want these hand tight and there you go now I've got both sides connected and I can see here I can tighten this up a little bit more That way I can get the wire all in there. Now I can tighten it. Now you just want these hand tight. Check the wire on this side. That's tight. Now, as you can see, this is fairly simple. Anybody could do this. Now I've got it back into my socket here. As you can see, 
and everything is insulated now to where nothing touches anything that's metallic. Now I can put the base back on. Just line them up like so. Now you can take the base, let me slide the wire back in there. You push them together, you'll hit a snap, which is normal. Lock your base into place. Now you're ready to put your uh, lamp back together. Now, let me go ahead and loosen the screw up here. If you need to take the screw all the way out, that's fine. Uh, just be sure not to lose it because you will need to put it back. Now you don't don't have to have a wrench or anything to tighten these on. All you have to have is just a little, a little hand tight. Now if you want to, you can put the screw in there now. Don't put it too tight, but it's just a What that does keeps this from becoming loose. Now I'm ready to put my lamp back together. Now that I have my lamp ready, I can start putting it back together. Now remember the the, the locks here. I uh, won't do here. Slide them up. I'm going to squeeze. Like so. Now them are in place. Now I can put my bulb back in. Now, yeah, this is a, a three-piece or a three-way bulb. It's fluorescent. Now, if you look on the bottom, it also has the rings. You got the neutral, you got the, the one setting, and then you got the center. And then when it goes bright, it turns both of those on. Now, let me go ahead and put my bulb back in. You don't want it too tight. You just want it snug, hand tight. There's that part. Now, let me put my thumb piece back on. There we go. You don't have to have it too tight. Now I'm ready to plug it in. And there you go. Now I can turn it on brighter and off. 
Turn it on. That's low. That's medium. And that's bright. Now we got my lamp fixed. Actually, it's not mine, but um, it's in my possession. And that, my friends, is how you fix or replace a lamp socket. Well, this concludes this video by ES Repair. I'm your host, Mr. Fix It. I hope this video was helpful and um, helped you show how simple you can simply change a lamp socket. Uh, whether the old one's bad or you need to, re uh, you want to upgrade to a three-way socket. Uh, I've shown you how these can be done. It's very simple, as you can see here. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.